So in this video, we're going to go from high poly to low poly. I can't actually remember which one's low poly. So let's go ahead and find our bread model. Now I've jumped onto Sketchfab and there is a link in the description and I found a free model of this bread, obviously what you saw at the start, but I'm kind of pre-recording this. So in Blender, we press A to select everything and delete. We always delete that default cube for no apparent reason. File, import, OBJ, because it's an OBJ. Let's find our bread, pane, and there we go. There's our bread. Rotate X minus 90, just so it's kind of, you know, the right way up. From here, what I'm going to do is Shift D to duplicate, right click to put that back in place. And I'm going to hide the original. Now we can see at the moment that this one has 112,000 faces. All right. So if I press tab to go into edit mode, we can see there's a quite a bit of geometry. From here, what I'm going to do is bring that geometry down and I'm going to click on our object data, the green thingy triangle. From here, what I'm going to do first is turn off auto smooth on this model. I'm going to click remesh and I'm going to select voxel is going to be there. The voxel size. So that we, when you see that we bake this out, it's going to make little cubes and that's how it's going to determine the mesh. Um, I'm just going to click voxel remesh. So at the moment we can see that it's triangles and so on and so forth. Voxel remesh. And we can see that we've got nice squares now. And we can see that the face count now is 3,662. So about 5% of what it initially was. From here, let's go into the modifiers. And this is really important that we have to do it in order. Okay. Add modifier, multi-resolution. Okay. Leave it. Add modifier, shrink wrap. From here, the wrap method needs to be project. And we will select our target to be our previous um, bread that's currently hidden. We want the projection to be both negative and positive. Now that we've done that, let's subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. From here, I'm going to apply, apply the shrink wrap modifier. So have it selected and control A. Boop. And then with the level viewport, I'm going to bring that back down to zero. From here, let's just select that. I'm going to press space bar, shade smooth. There we go. Cool bananas. Next, we need to do is now set up our textures. So let's go into shading. Okay. I'm going to copy the material. So we've got fresh material. From here, I'm going to delete this texture. I'm going to create a new texture. This uh, pink up here is from node preview add-on. Um, it's currently got errors because I don't know why, but it does. It's uh, node preview add-on is really good for creating textures like with all the nodes and so on. I don't know why it's pink at the moment. From here, I'm going to create a new material. This one will be bread underscore D for diffuse. Okay. Let's multiply that by two and multiply this one by two. So we've got a 2K texture and then I'm going to press OK. From here, I'm going to go shift D to duplicate and bring that back down. And let's add in a normal map. Bam! Ooh. From here, color goes into color, normal goes into normal. Let's remove the diffuse texture and now we're going to create a normal texture. So let's go bread underscore N. It's a 2K texture. This is important. Let's remove the alpha. You need to turn on 32 bit float. Okay. Now, what do we do from here? We need to come up into the main viewport, tab to select it. Press A to select everything. U, Smart UV Project. And I'm going to increase the margin size by a little bit because then there's no bleeding of edges over onto the other, onto the texture. So let's press OK to that. So if we come into UV editing, we can see that we've got nice margins. And so that's what we've got. Let's come back into here. Um, I am going to select our initial mesh and I'm just going to shade smooth on that one and as well remove auto smooth. Let's hide that original one. From here, I need to have bread N selected. Let's jump over into the render settings. Eevee, we're gonna change the cycles. Um, the render, I'm gonna drop it back down to about 10 because we don't need to calculate where light is bouncing. We are just trying to capture the geometry. 
From here, let's go down into performance. I'm just gonna increase the tile size and let's minimize that. Let's go into bake. Now I wanna bake from multi-res and I want the normals. Make sure our bread N is selected and then I'm gonna press bake and hopefully we're gonna have a bake texture. So let's come down to here and we can see that's, that's looking pretty good for a normal map. We've got a lot of definition on our model that's only got 3,600 uh, faces. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and grab our uh, diffuse color. So from here, I'm gonna unhide our original. Let's have that selected first. From here, I'm gonna shift left click again and make sure our secondary bread is selected. I'm gonna have bread D image texture highlighted. Then we can come down into bake. I want to not bake from multi-res. I'm going to go into diffuse. I don't care about the lighting. I just purely want color. I want selected to active. So our initial mesh is coming to our active mesh, which is our low poly one. And the let's increase the selected active thing. Excru extrusion, I'm going to set that to 0.1 and press bake and hopefully it's just gonna be all good. And if we have a look, we've got a very nice texture. I'm gonna move this one over, G to the X. Which one did I move over? Hmm, which one's which? So this is the high poly, this is the low poly. Subscribe. See Frank, Frank's like, hey, can you subscribe and like and Comment, did you find this useful? So if you want to continue to support me as well, I do have a Patreon that I'm starting to up and I'm putting a lot more effort into. I will be having custom motion capture data up there as well um, for any of my upcoming projects. I'll put in a pack of the motion capture and have it available for you. If you're one of my Patreons and you need some motion capture done, some very simple stuff, I'm more than happy to try and help you out there. Uh, I'll be using the Perception Neuron V3. So there's plenty of tutorials coming out there. I will be trying to do as well custom tutorials for Patreon stuff, Patreon subscribers as well, which will be kind of a bit of a long form tutorial. So if you want to check them out, head over there. Support me more if you can. I would be very much appreciate, appreciative. Um, very grateful, that's the word. There we go. And yeah, say hi to your mum for me.